How's it going, guys? I'm going to be playing Mickey Mouse Capades for the NES. It is a game I had when I was growing up, and I enjoyed it, and I'm very nostalgic for it, so let's go. Looks like the old 1930s art with the pie eye. <laughs> I love that. You know, and if you do like uh, early Mickey Mouse style like that, pick up the Floyd Gofferson books by Fanagraphics. They're really good. I actually helped out with a couple of them, doing uh, little little things in them here and there uh, for a friend of mine who edits for uh, for Disney and for Fanagraphics. But those uh, those comics are great because they show Mickey in his uh, in his true form before he was made into a wimp, <laughs> made into a big pussy, basically. So, the thing about this game is, is am I even hurting this guy? Uh, the thing about this game is that pretty much people don't like the game because of Minnie Mouse. And I thought that you could kill those guys while they were sitting there. I think you have to trigger the spiders out uh, to start hurting them. But people don't like this game because they don't like Minnie, because Minnie will get you killed. That's the main argument of this game, and I can understand that. It's, uh, it is annoying. She can be annoying because she will she'll fall down pits, and I'm sure it's gonna happen here. You'll see. You'll see me complaining about it. <laughs> that dude kind of remind me of a uh, thing from Dragon Warrior, which uh, also appears, I believe, in Fortune Street. I don't know if you guys have ever played Fortune Street, but that's a. Um, sort of party game that's actually a lot of fun. I wish Nintendo would do some kind of sequel to Fortune Street because I really like the game. It would be nice to see Fortune Street with other characters. Like, put all the characters that would be in Smash Brothers in Fortune Street and you would have an awesome game. I haven't played that in a while. <laughs> Gonna have to play that again sometime soon. Damn cat. Fill up my energy with some cake, strawberry cake. Here we have the brooms from Fantasia. Definitely a good, uh, a good Disney movie. And one of the things that I always thought was uh, interesting, a little bit of trivia about um, Fantasia, was that. You know the uh, Night on Bald Mountain part of that movie with the the big uh, monster dude? Um, he was actually supposed to be voiced by Bela Lugosi, believe it or not. Um, that didn't happen for, for one reason or, no, or another, but imagine that. Imagine if Bela Lugosi's voice was coming out of that guy in fucking Fantasia. That would have been very odd to think of now. cake. I don't know what exactly I'm hitting here, but yeah, there's the guy that takes Mickey away. Or Minnie, I should say. Um, that thing's friggin' annoying. And actually, I included that guy in my review of, um, or review, my top ten of most annoying NES enemies, because it's like, Minnie's already annoying, and now it's like, even more annoying, because, oh, I'm in this fucking thing. Um, I have to find the double shot, which I thought was in this level. Gotta make sure I get it. Maybe I need Mini to get it, but I was pretty sure it's in that thing. I think if you keep going back there, it'll eventually give you the, the double shot. And I don't want to leave this uh, level without getting that. And also getting Mini back. And actually, I don't know if um, if I go to the next level and I don't save her, if she were if she would come back at all. That's actually an interesting thought. Uh, is this just gonna be a gem or something? Let's see. See how I'm like shooting. Oh, there you go. It's okay. It's a thing to get mini back. So let's try this. There she is. So we got mini back. That was easy enough. Sometimes that can take forever because it seems to be random. 
Now this is the witch from... It's not the witch from Snow White, so I'm not even sure where they're getting this witch from. And, you know, I know in a lot of Disney movies and stuff and cartoons, and I'm not actually sure where they got this witch from. Maybe just designed for, for this game, I'm going to have to assume. But that is the key right there to um, you know, open the door in the beginning of the level. That takes you to level two. But like I said, before we... We're going to have to get the key. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to have to get the double shot. Star. And please let me know uh, in the comments who the hell that witch is. <laughs> because honestly, to me, it looks more like, I think, uh, Witch Hazel from Warner Brothers? And that can't be right. <laughs> you know? So, I have no idea. So I'm going to go in here again, and hopefully it's going to give me... going to give me the double shot this time. Alright, let's see. Nope, it's the bad thing again. Go back in and check again. I don't know what exactly I'm doing wrong here that it's not giving me... There it is, there's the double shot. I guess you just basically gotta go in and out, see? Now, look, one shot gives me two. So you definitely gotta do that. So I guess that's all it is, is you just go in and then you go, you know, in and out. That's my tip for you guys, just go in and out. <laughs> all right. The immaturity. But, you know, we discussed that before. Immaturity goes... goes hand in hand with, uh with playing NES games. And I guess uh, Minnie's sh shooting the other uh, star, which is the one thing that does make her helpful. But I don't see any reason why Mickey couldn't have just shot both. I mean, he's got two hands. Why couldn't he just, you know, throw one star with each hand or something? I'm probably thinking uh, too deeply about this. <laughs> Alright, but we're almost back at the beginning, which is where you use the key that you got from uh, the witch. And I don't want to trigger any of more of those guys out that are going to steal Mini right now, since I'm right at the end. And that is level one, and now we're going to be going to the ocean stage, which um, I've always found to be one of the most annoying parts of the game, because of the waves that come up. Yeah, you're going to see these uh, sort of splashes come up in a minute, and they are they're very hard to avoid. I've never been very good at it. Oh, and that's one of the funniest things that you'll see, is that <laughs> you actually get shit on by birds in this. I always thought of doing a top 10 video about uh, games where you actually get shit on, and, you know, another one is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Whoa! This fucking heart. Um, then there's this game. So, again, another thing you guys could leave me in the comments is if you know any more retro games, like games probably before 2000 where you actually get shit on, um, please let me know because I would love to do a top 10 games where you get shit on. <laughs> that would be awesome. I would definitely do that too if I could get 10 of them. So please let me know. I like doing stupid top tens like that. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, but I did top ten... <laughs> I did top ten assholes, which was really just, um... Not, like, actual assholes. It was... Annoying enemies, essentially. And then I also did... Oh, let me try to kill this guy. Hang on. Alright. Just wanted to take him out. I actually got through that level a lot easier than... Uh, than I normally do. So I'm doing pretty well so far, I have to say. All right, we're going up to the woods. Yeah, and then I did another video, uh, Top 10 Boners, which was all about uh, skeletons. So. But I would definitely do Top 10 Enemies. Or Top 10 uh, Games Where You Get Shit On. If I could think of enough. So we got two. I could, it could be a top two. <laughs> it's Toad, it's Toad. All right, let's see. I think, I feel like I keep going past that. Now this level is a maze and it's, everything's indicated by uh, the color of the trees. 
and basically you're going through the seasons. And I'm gonna go in this door, and if it goes yellow, that's a right. Uh, no way that went to green. I think that's... Oh no, it's supposed to go to green, and then the next one's yellow, I think. I think that's what it is. Let's see. I don't know, I'm just gonna try this. No. Okay, so pink is the first one, that was wrong. So it's pink, green, yellow, I think. And then, um... You know. Oh, hang on, let me get through this. This part's very hard to do commentary on because it's a little... Yeah, this is where the game's starting to get a little bit more difficult. Slightly. Alright, so green is the second one. I guess that's summer. Or no, this is probably spring, actually. Alright, I'm not I'm gonna surpass that one. Let's keep going. Alright, I'm gonna try this one, I think. Okay, yeah, so it's the one before the uh the hole. And this one, we're gonna try to figure out. That guy reminds me of uh, Sugar Sugar Bear from Sugar Crisp. <laughs> Every time I play this game, I always think of that. Can't get over that sugar crisp. <laughs> do 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 they even sell that shit anymore? I haven't seen that in the grocery stores in I don't know how long. A long, long time. It's a it's a lost art right there. Sugar crisp, golden grams, <laughs> all that shit. Golden grams. I think this might be the door to the next area. You gotta check this. Let's try this. Yeah, there we go. And this takes me to the, um, sorry, I'm just checking this. Uh, it takes me to the winter area, which this is the last one before the end area. But I think uh, it's like you go right past the start sign or something, which is where this one is. It might be, it might be this, honestly. Let me check it out. Oh, it's an extra um, star thing. Well, that's good. That'll help me get through the level more. Really glad I had that double shot. So that I can kill my golden grams. <laughs> These freaking guys. They are tough, I will say. Oh, and I... These things are some of the most annoying fucking enemies in this game. These red fucking guys. I hate them. Oh no, and now there's like two of them. Alright. Alright, now I think you have to go through the level here. And then, yeah, it opens up this. You can't just do that right when it starts, I don't think. But yeah, this takes me right to the end. And we fight a big flower or something? I kind of forget. Let's find out. Hope there's no more of those red guys. Those, yeah, and as soon as I said that, there was another one. Motherfucker. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> God. Oh. Almost no health left here. Alright, let's see if I can get through this. I don't have much energy left. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, well I guess we're gonna start this level from the beginning, cause... Toad got me. <laughs> Alright. Gotta watch... Fuck! Watch Minnie on this part. So that she doesn't go falling down the damn drains there. I think I was uh, rushing through a bit too much before. I don't know. Oh, oh, you know what? I didn't even, like think of that. That you can kill those. At least the ones above you can. Whoa! Fuck. Oh yeah, the diamonds do refill your health. I forgot. Demons to diamonds. One of James' favorite Atari games. We're painting the roses red. We're painting the roses red. Na -na 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 -na. What there must be said. <laughs> you know, this whole thing reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. All right, let's try to fuck this guy up as much as possible. Motherfucker. 
Oh, all right. Yeah, it's like the caterpillar. I wonder, that's probably what they were going for there, like out in Alice in Wonderland type of thing. Speaking of Alice in Wonderland, um, that was one of the early Disney animated uh, things. Um, you know, a lot of people think uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit was one of the things that originated having live action incorporated with animation, but actually there was the uh, Disney Alice comedies back in the day, so. Um, all right, so we are on the pirate ship. Let's check this out. I think this is the second to last stage. Motherfucker. Is there any break in what this guy does, or he just keeps going? I'm gonna drop down as quick as possible, I think. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Gotta be quick about it, really. Who the hell is this guy? I don't remember him from anything. Any Disney cartoons or movies or anything. Alright, we are on Pete. He always kind of reminded me of Bluto from Popeye. Alright, let's do this. I'm just gonna get as close as I can and just try to fuck him up, basically. There we go. It worked. Ugh. <laughs> getting through it, getting through it. And I think we are now on the last level, which is a castle. There you go, I just said it on the screen. Um, I haven't uh, done this for a few years, so I don't really remember. I think it might be kind of like a maze. Um, All right, opening the windows. I think it has a lot to do with that, just, you know, checking all the windows or something. I kind of forget what the deal is with this level and what you're supposed to do. I hate these pink dudes. They're very hard to hit. Let me see if I can just get out of here without even having to worry about that. Okay, cake is always good. <laughs> There we go. Oh, Mini, you fuck. Did you see that? I hate that. There we go. That's how it's done. Build the cards. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go back to the wall. Just the walrus and the carpenter guy in a minute. But for right now, I wanna get this key. That would be stupid to bring Minnie over there, because, like, why get her trapped and all that? I don't even know if that's possible anyway. So now we're gonna... So that's where I want to go, where the walrus and the carpenter guy is. The walrus and the carpenter. That is one of my favorite Disney animated features, Alice in Wonderland. running at this point. Come on, Minnie, you fuck. Look at this. this is... You gotta, like, push her up against the wall. Get up against the wall, motherfucker. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Look at... It's so bad. So bad. Alright, is there any cake? There is some cake. that. If I can get Minnie up here, don't fall, you fucker. Ass hat. There we go. Oh my god, it's so annoying. <laughs> Fuck you, Minnie. Seriously. Fuck you. Alright. We're on Pete again. I don't know if I can do this on this few life. Yeah. We're almost there, though. If I can just get through this. Are they going to send me on the bottom of that? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Great. Just get me through this. 
All right, let's just beat Peep. Now it shouldn't be a problem. Good, he's dead. All right, here we go. Got some cake. Try to just make it right under these guys, good. And we're back at the walrus and the carpenter. Fuck, hang on. <laughs> Fucking red guy coming for me too. Good, boom, open the door. Let me kill this red guy. All right. I'm hoping this takes me to the witch. It is. It is Maleficent. I almost wonder if you can get on this side of her. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, that's a cheap trick, right? <laughs> I had to end it with a, with a cheap trick. Oh my god. And there you go, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, that's right. The whole goal is to save Alice. You know what? I kind of forgot about that. I gotta be honest. Um, cute ending. Cute game. What can I say? It is a... I guess it must be an earlier Capcom game, because it's not like... It's not a streamlined game. Mini is still annoying, but... You know, it's an okay game. Um, if you like Disney and Capcom games, you'll probably enjoy it. So, check it out. Oh. And it also had to say end. <laughs> Let's make sure that we get every single detail in there.